my channel I'm so glad you guys are here I've been working on this video for a really long time and as most of you guys know I'm the mother of just one baby I have a one-year-old baby boy he just turned a year old in November and these things are things that I've been thinking about and saying okay what are things that I needed his first year of life that if I just didn't have it would have made my life more difficult well I sat down one day and I started jotting things down and I was like, oh my God, I should totally make a video about this. And here they are guys. Okay, so there's no particular order. There's 10 of them. I have most of them out here and the ones I don't have, I will just show you guys a picture of what it okay, looks like. So the very first thing is a nursing pillow. And this is what my nursing pillow looks like. This is the Boppy brand and it's just like a C-shaped pillow. And this is actually a cover, so you can take the cover off, wash it, which is amazing because you will need to wash it um, several times. So basically <laughs> what you do, you just sit down wherever you're going to sit, whether on the sofa, on the floor, on your bed, on your nursing chair, wherever. You put the pillow inside like this, and then your baby just lays here. And it's so perfect if you want to do this position for breastfeeding or if you want to do like the football position for breastfeeding. Any position works just fine with this. I know there's a lot of people that don't like this pillow. I personally loved it. There's also another pillow and I can't remember the name of it so I'll just post a picture of what it looks like. Um, basically, it's a pillow for your baby and there's like a hole in the middle that it's like an indent if that makes sense it's not an actual hole but it's an indent and you can lay your baby there and he or she will just be so comfortable there now I made the mistake of having him sleep in there because oh my god he just slept so good in there um, but you're really not supposed to let your baby slip in there so don't do it and if you do do it it's up to you guys but I knew that I shouldn't be doing it, but he slept so well. And I am such a light sleeper that if he would be fussing, I'd wake up instantly. So yeah, I love that pillow so, so the much. The item is my jogger stroller. I absolutely wanted the jogger stroller before I had the baby. And I told Michael, I want this stroller because, you know, I'm going to be running all the time. And I'm going to be working out to lose all the baby weight. And then it happened. I haven't lost all the baby weight yet. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even consider baby weight anymore. Anyways, um, yeah, we ended up getting the stroller, and that specific stroller is a Graco, and it came with the infant car seat, which was so great because we didn't have to buy an extra item. And the stroller has been so amazing. It is pretty big. It's not like a regular size stroller. It's huge. It's big. But to me, it's so worth it. Now we have still that jogger, and we also have what you call an umbrella stroller. And if I can take my jogger... I will take my jogger because it's just so easy to maneuver guys and I take the baby to the park all the time for walks or we go to our botanical garden or to the beach and I use a stroller I don't know if you can use it on the actual sand but I've used it everywhere guys and love it I absolutely love that stroller and I don't know I've never tried any other kind of jogger stroller but I assume that they're all really easy to maneuver and then what's really cool is that the front wheel you can click it or lock it in place and it stays straight or you can unlock it and it maneuvers and that's just so easy for me I absolutely love it okay so some of you guys may know my son actually has eczema um, it's not very severe it's very very mild so I mean if you have a baby that has severe eczema I'm not sure if these products would work but for Michael they worked wonders so the first thing is I was always using Johnson & Johnson um, body wash and lotion and then I also used um, the, the draft detergent well, he started coming out with eczema. I took him to the, to the I was going to say the vet, <laughs> to his pediatrician, and she told me that I should switch over to Aveeno products. And guys, Aveeno has been amazing. So this is the Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy Lotion that we use. Super thick um, formula, guys, but it works so good on his body. And then I also have the Aveeno um, sunscreen, and then we also use the Aveeno body wash and shampoo. It all comes in one, but it's all, Aveeno products are so great. They have a lot less chemicals, a lot less parabens, and there's no scent to them really, so it's not like they have any more added ingredients on them. Um, and then also, I mean, I guess you could also go to like more natural products, but Aveeno has been great for us. I love it. And I mean, I wish I would have started with the Vino at the very beginning so that my baby wouldn't have gotten eczema. Now, with the detergent, like I said, we were using the draft detergent. I'm sorry I'm being so quiet, but the baby's sleeping, so I wanna, I don't want to wake him up. So we were using um, draft detergent, and the same things was happening where he was just getting rashes all over his body. And so the doctor did tell us to switch to this. 
and this is the all free and clear and it works great there's no scent to it whatsoever so that cute little baby smell that you would have in your clothes you're not gonna have it anymore but I'm totally fine with it so I used this and I actually ended up switching all of our detergents to this and it's just fine the only th I feel like it cleans perfectly fine just like all the other detergents do the only thing is that it's not super scented it just has like a very like it doesn't really smell like anything which is totally fine with me um but yeah this another thing i love when we first started getting things for the baby we were getting a lot of things that had buttons on them and i it didn't bother me you know i was like whatever they're cute it's fine Okay, once the baby was here and I had to get up with him at 2, 3, 4, 5 in the morning and had to unbutton everything and then button everything back, I realized that buttons are the devil, guys. If you guys have a baby, go with zippers. Zippers all the way. Oh my gosh, just make sure you don't grab their little skin, of course. But honestly, guys, zippers have been amazing. So now, every time I get pajamas for him, I always make sure to get the ones with the zippers because they're so much more easier, especially when you're getting up in the middle of the night to feed the baby and you also have to change their diaper. A zipper is so much more convenient than having to unbutton every single button and button every single ba button back So up. something else that you're totally going to need for your baby is a good thermometer. We have three thermometers, guys. Okay, so first we only had these two, and these two are okay. This is one of the bronze thermometers, and this is a thermometer by Safety First. It came like in a little package with like a hairbrush and a toothbrush and stuff like that, and this one actually works really, really well. I loved it, but now we upgraded and we bought this one. This is by the Proven brand. We got this off Amazon. Any of the links that I can find, I'll link them down below for you guys. Um, and this one is so good. This actually has for you to take their fever over the head or through their ear. So this one is for your head and then you open it and you put this in your ear. And guys, it's been so awesome. And it tells you obviously the temperature here. And if the temperature is too high, it blinks red. And oh my gosh, guys, I can't even tell you guys how much I love this. And now the baby actually enjoys getting like his uh, his temperature because it like beeps and you know it's just interesting for him. But honestly, guys, a good thermometer you need it. Whatever you choose to buy, whatever thermometer you need a thermometer for your baby. The next thing I have, I know it can be a little controversial for some people, and some people are disgusted by it. And I'm totally gonna jump on the bad wagon. And before I had a baby, I was like, that is the most disgusting thing ever. I am never gonna do that. But now I love my nose Frida. The nose Frida has been so good to us, guys. So basically, what you do is just a it's not sucker, basically. You put this in their nose, up their nostril, and then you suck from here. So you go, you suck really hard to like take out all those boogers. And just honestly, guys, you get nothing in your mouth. It doesn't even like it does not get through at all so basically there's a filter in here that you guys can see there's a filter in here that you replace and it's a block there's a blockage right here so it will not go into your mouth but honestly guys i was using those light bulbs um, nose suckers for a little bit and i just didn't like it and even my doctor told me that those accumulate a lot of bacteria in the inside because they'll stay wet on the inside and accumulate mold whereas these don't because you have a filter and you take out the filter and replace it with a new one um so that's the only thing that you do have to like buy filters but it's totally fine you can get them on amazon a big pack and they're pretty cheap so it's not a big deal um yeah and it just works so good and it sucks so good and it doesn't hurt the baby it doesn't bother them and i love it when i registered for my son i decided that i did not want a diaper pail or those i don't even know what they're called diaper genies or whatever i didn't want one and everybody said oh my god you're gonna need one you need a diaper it's gonna smell so bad inside your house you're not gonna go out every time the baby poops to go throw the trash out um, blah, blah 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 and i said yes i understand that but i don't want one i do not want a diaper pail so i ended up not getting one and honestly guys he's over a year old now and i don't miss it i don't feel like i missed out on one so what i did instead was i went to dollar tree and i bought a bunch of poop bags and what i do whenever i get a diaper with number two in it i put it in a bag and i throw it in the trash and there's no smell just make sure you throw out your trash like at least once every two days there's no smell whatsoever 
and it just I feel like it saves so much money and it's just so easy like to just open up a bag throw it in there and toss in the trash no big deal and like I said there really isn't a smell as long as you consistently take your trash out at least twice a day I made my mistake once and I didn't throw it out for like three days and it kind of stinked in here but now it's fine I learned my lesson <laughs> so the next item I actually don't have a picture of it but it's those really big like swaddle muslin blankets they're really thin material but they keep your baby nice and tight if you want to swaddle them with it so basically when I first got them i was like i'm never gonna use these blankets why do i have so many of them but honestly guys you can use that blanket for so many things so the first thing obviously to swaddle them because they will need to be swaddled when they're little itty bitty babies but it also works if you are breastfeeding it works as a nursing cover because again it's a really it's a really thin so it's i feel like it's really breathable for them and you can just cover your baby with it and it works wonders another thing you can use that blanket for is a cover for a public changing table sometimes most diaper bags comes with that diaper but if you don't take your diaper bag with you or if your diaper bag doesn't come with them you can totally use that and you just put the baby underneath change him or her really quick and you're good to go and then obviously you can use it as an actual blanket so when we first registered i didn't think i needed a monitor because our house is pretty small and our walls are pretty thin where i was like i don't need a monitor if he wakes up and cries i'm gonna hear him i don't need a monitor but then as he got older and started sleeping in an actual room and i was in a different room i thought hey i need a monitor especially because i'm able to see him i'm able to see if he's breathing because my kid is still a year old and i still check to see if he's breathing <laughs> Um, I can see if he covers his face with a blanket, you know, anything like that, you can see him. So, oh my gosh, guys, you need a monitor. And actually, you guys can probably see him right here. He's taking a nap right now. <laughs> so, I love our monitor. Our monitor is from the Motorola brand. Um, I'll link the model down below. I don't know if it's still available. But yeah, this is what the actual monitor looks like with the screen. It's really cool. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. I can talk to him through here. I can play music through here and he hears it. And then the actual um, camera, it's just a little ball and it's like very, it's small. Um, and yeah, the only thing I don't like about this monitor so much is that the battery does die pretty quickly. But it's not a big deal. You just charge it and you're fine. So this is it for this video. I really hope that you guys like this My Top 10 baby essential items for me i don't know i don't know how to title this um i hope you guys enjoyed it maybe i can do a video on the top 10 things i regret buying for my baby or regret getting for my baby something like that or things i wouldn't buy maybe if you guys are interested let me don't know in the comments down below if you guys would want to see something like that anyways this is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already my instagram link is down below and i'll see you all in the next one bye